so I got myself, actually my wife got me a couple of uh, new baits yesterday. One of them I'm fishing right here now. This is the Berkeley, Berkeley Nessie 9, uh, 9 inch, weighs 2 ounces, soft plastic glide bait. Um, and then I've got the other one. So I've got the boxes in my pocket here. Then she got me the Berkeley Nessie 7. So 9 inch and a 7 inch. This is a 1 ounce, that's a 2 ounce. This color is looks like hickory shad in, in this box, and that one is perch. And then I get myself, I got this a Berkeley war pig, all right, and it is the uh, midnight pearl color. And this is deadly. Alright, so I've changed up. Now I'm on the badass Berkeley Warfare. And I'm going to catch a fish. strong headwinds there. Kind of what I want. I think I want to fish off of that point over there. Because if I remember right, there's a lot of mudge. Weeds. So, I'm seeing those ducks out there too. chilly out here today. Get my little hoodie up there. So what, like is everybody getting ready for Halloween now? It's getting close, isn't it? Daddies take your little boys and girls out trick-or-treating. Moms. Yes, sir. Not a bad little fish. You behave. You behave. First fish of the day on the Berkeley War Pig. And their hooks are sharp. I gotta give him some line out here. Do. 
There we are. Thanks for biting, little guy. First fish of the day. Appreciate you. Those of you that follow me quite a bit, watch a lot of my videos, will know that I fish with a lipless crankbait quite often. Um, and it looks like today's the day for Adam had one hooked on top water. So today's like a day for top water and lipless, we know for sure. slower than what I am, but I want to keep it above the weeds. So that little fish I caught right there uh, is my personal best of this pond this year because this is the first time I fished it this year. And it's like Wednesday, October 23rd. So I am going to move myself in a position to be able to get just a little bit farther cast. I think I come right across here, I should be doing pretty good. Because I mean, I'm sorry about it, it's almost right at me. And that's fine.
my goal is to catch a big fish for you guys. And one of the baits I've got with me today is going to do it. And there's one there, but I don't know how big he is, but he ain't bad, I don't think. Yeah, he's pretty good size, actually. Oh! Man, that was a nice one. You need to come over here, bro. That was probably a three. See if we can do that again. That was a nice fish. But anyway, like I was saying, my goal was to catch a big fish for you guys today. I don't know if that was the same one, but he gave it a heck of a fight, too. They always like to get their gills with these damn things. Let me get some line out for him. Not big enough to put on the scale or anything like that by any means, but... I'm pleased with it, pleased with the catch. Alright, there we are. Alright, so you're number two for the day. Now come on. Guess I gotta wipe off my uh, camera lens after that. Let's look and see here. I think so. All right. So now we got two fish on the board. As I was saying, one of these baits in my pocket is going to catch a big fish today. How big, I just don't know what it's going to be, but um, I told my wife this morning, I'm going to catch a big fish today. Normally when I tell her that, or I'm going to try to catch a big fish, and normally when I tell her that, I do end up catching a big fish. If I tell her I'm going to catch a big fish today, <laughs> I get skunked. I had one of these baits before and my wife picked it out for me. Alright! No skunk! He just caught one. to like it when I catch two fish in the same pocket, not too far apart. Oh, there was another one, but he didn't get it. Yeah, it could have been that weed right there. I was standing down uh, to my right a little bit farther when I hooked into the uh, when I hooked into the two, so. I'm going to do the same thing, and I'm going to make that point of landing, my, that be the spot of landing my fish when I catch them. And I will catch some more. 
This should probably, probably be a three pounder. <laughs> I wish. We're just out having fun today. We're not doing any type of uh, uh, challenge of who's going to catch the most fish or who's catching the biggest fish. We're just out fishing, guys, and having fun. I just got lucky and happened to find a spot where there was two that were hungry enough to take this. going to fan cast this area here because it's overcast the fish could be out swimming around a little bit you know you don't necessarily have to be close to the shore point with the wind right at my face. It's not a real harsh wind. Yeah, he's a little bit bigger. Chunky little fella. He's probably gonna. He, he might be three quarters of a pound. But yeah, I'll take him. Number three. And I'm just going to move myself down here so I don't have to toss the fish so far. I really don't like tossing them. There. Yeah. So now I can walk from here. Okay. Yeah, I like this. catching three like that I really see no reason why I should be wanting to move much farther than here maybe hit it from different angles but don't really think I need to move away from it but it might have been better for me to stay up there so I could hold the rod up higher to get over some of these weeds. I mean, they're not anything like, a, like they are at the strip pit or anything like that.
right into it. Not really muck, just some grass, aquatic grass. Whatever kind of aquatic weed that is. up there I think I think my rod my uh, lure uh, was running just about the right depth but it needed to be running and now it's not so that'll make a difference on a day like today if you're not in the same depth that the fish are I ain't gonna worry about you too much Big difference. They got off though. He got off. So that would have been number five. They've landed three, missed two. Let's see if they'll come back and get it. Held on to him for a little bit. Let's see. Third one I've lost through here.
I mean, it's a good day fishing for me. I'm just not landing them the way I should. Something's drawing me to this place up here where these little birds are floating around. As long as I don't catch one of them, I'll be alright. But I'm going to stop and turn the camera off and put the power back in. It's starting to get low on me and I, I don't like to run low on a battery. So here's what I'm using, the Berkeley War Pig, as you can see right here, it's already got a little nick in it from the fish the way they've been hitting it today, they've been hitting it really, really hard. Alright, be back in a second.
Trying to help you, fool. Well, they've all been about this big. Yeah, they've all been about this big. How big was he? Yeah. I've lost three. That first one I lost was about three pounds. He, either that or I had a gill hook, but he was pulling hard. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah. Oh. He's a little chunky one. Right now, what I've been catching them on today so far has been the Berkeley War Pig, 5 8 ounce, um, smoked pearl, flipless crankbait. I think he's scalable. I'm guessing two. One twelve. 
You said a high one. Thank you, thank you. Oh.
Damn it. Man, that, that sucked. time you bastard yeah got me another little chunker alright you're about as big as the other one All right, <laughs> that was damn near a double up.
there, Bessie. Come on. Oh, no, no, no. She was big. Do you see it? No. Man, she was big. Come on down here. That's why I came over. Was it at least a three? At least. Neither here. It's like, it's like the old pole went wham. <laughs> About, see that little stick? Yeah. About 10, 15 feet out, she hit it <laughs> from that stick. The last one that I caught was right at the end of the stick. Damn. So they're out there. Oh yeah, that. That yeah, might. That you might. Got them eating the fucking top of the wind. <laughs> That's crazy. Well, maybe this place isn't really pressured for bass fishing. You know, it might be they come here and do a lot of bluegill and, bluegill and catfish and crappie, but no bass, you know. So, yeah. All right, I'm going to throw out there. I'm hoping it wasn't a, a, a snag up, but man, the way it felt, and then he started pulling. He, he was decent size. Huh. Yeah, that's kind of nasty over there. Turtle? Oh. oh, it broke as soon as I dropped it. Raccoon, maybe? Yeah. It's not like a snapper. It looked like a, a paint or something like that. Like. Well, if I don't catch this one, you come over and catch it. Reeling fairly fast too to get over the moss and shit. Yeah. Found the grass. So this thing had uh, got the back hook up in the line, so it was kind of like coming across the top of the water, and one jumped at it and missed it. <laughs> it's over on the other side over there. Yeah. Well, the good thing is we both caught our PB out of here today, this year. <laughs> Yeah. We need to get in our zones what we need to do. I think I'm there.
Yeah. <laughs> That's maybe six inches of water right there. So that's like number seven missed today. <laughs> I'm 50%. I've caught seven and missed seven. That's not a good record. <laughs> that's usually only with frogs I miss that many. Right. I guess what I got to remember is that they're not moving that fast and I am. But if I move it any slower, I'm going to be covered in grass. Right. Oh, did you see that? Well, it was coming across the top because it had this leaf. Here's a little one, though. Make it around to the clean bank over here yet? A little part of it. I thought you had one. Come on, come on. 
on. I know you're in here. Come on. Come on. Come up here and get it. I know you want it. Where you at? Been good to me, but I'm gonna throw you one more time, and I'm gonna give you a break and use the spinner bait for a minute. That is, if you don't catch fish, this. Yes, sir.
I'll take him. All right, buddy. Thank you for biting. One thirteen. This last one I just landed was one eight or one nine. And uh, sorry, guys, when you see me uh, throwing the fish out there in the water, uh, it's not that I'm don't want to be delicate with the fish <coughs> but this water is only about three inches deep uh, for quite a ways so if I just lay the fish down it's gonna get stuck like that one over there did and I felt bad I don't think that fish uh, it hadn't made it out when I left I couldn't get to it simply because I didn't throw it out far enough to be in with
We double up. All right. <laughs> you and your brother got caught. <laughs> double, double. Double, double. Hey, are the, oh, yours is bigger. Yeah, yours is bigger. Nice catches. I was telling the cameras, not that I'm not wanting to be gentle with them, but if you just try to lay them down, that's like three inches of water, man. They're going to get stuck. Yeah, they do. Yeah, in this spot, it's hard to get a good release on them. You just got to kind of get them out, chuck them out there. Yeah, it's not bad. And if it's a big one, I'll walk somewhere and find a good spot. Right. That'd be something we nice. tag team on. Nice, nice. Double y up. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, well, I think that's a, Second time that's happened to me and you. Happened to Gary and I in the spring out, of, out at Freddy's too. But for me and you, yeah, that's, that's the first. Yeah. I'm gonna say yours was a, a low two. Maybe a high one. You think right on the edge of two, maybe 115, 114? High yeah, one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah cool. oh, he ate it too. I'm complaining. That was your top water? Yeah. Oh, I, I notice on this I get more bites the closer I have it to the surface. Yep, higher up. Yeah. I'm trying to stay over the weeds, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I just I don't mind it touching the weeds, but I don't want to bring it back with you know a half pound of weeds on it. Yep, let's get some more. Yeah. Good job. You too. You're using your top water bluegill? Yep. Okay. And I'm using the Berkeley war pig. So two totally different baits just knocking the shit out knocking of them. Knocking the shit out of them. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm going to try one right through here. I'll stay out of your way. I'll let you cast first so I don't go over you. He and I have kind of traded places. I'm not going to get down there where he was, but I'll throw here a few times. Got one. First cast in your spot, bro. <laughs> You're a nice one. Kind of proud of you. All right. 
see how big you are. So I turned the camera off there for a little bit so that I could get the fish off the hook as quickly as possible. And get him back in the water. Alright, so, oops. He's gonna knock himself out. <clears throat> And he is one four. So I'm not catching really big ones, but if I were on a boat fishing for MLF, uh, I would be on the board quite a bit. So would Adam. All over, all over these hooks. I'm getting long cast out there. Try cover as much water as possible. And I think I got a small one. There. Got one. Yeah. Okay. two for a very high one
one seven one eight pound and a half okay thank you buddy sorry for this big toss you're gonna get yeah A lot of junk out there, a lot of grass, a lot of weeds. It's going to happen, that's normal. Don't get frustrated with it when you pull back a lure full of... Uh... Alright, got me a nice dry little place to set. Got me some nice targets to throw at. Got me some calm water to fish in. Here we are. We're ready for our PB. little spot right here is no secret but what I like about it is it's uh, three walls one two and three so bass would be taking little bait fish this size and trapping them in this little area and if they were trying to escape then the bass would say, no, no, you don't. I was saving you for later, but I'm going to eat you now. So I try to make this appear like a fleeing bait fish. Yeah, I am reeling it a little fast because there's a lot of weeds. It's not real deep. It might be two foot max out through there, maybe three. The sun's shining, so the fish could be moving a little into it. The water clarity is really not that bad.
Yes, sir. Bad thing about treble hooks. They won't get in your clothes. Earlier today I had this thing just stuck in my pants. Still not the big one I was looking for, but I'll take him. <laughs> 